What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Aston Villa Career Mode. Before this episode starts, I'd like to say Merry Christmas. This is probably going to be the last video I upload before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. And in case this is the last episode I upload this year, Happy New Year too. I hope 2018 brings you much happiness and much joy. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the episode. Okay, we're currently waiting on two transfer deals. Adoma could be on his way to play Premier League football. He could be on his way to Stoke. 6.5 million, that's a nice fee. Lansbury also could be on his way to play Premier League football. 6.8 million accepted. We'll just wait and see if they move. Adoma was, is that he's a nice player for us. Henry Lansbury is just a squad player, but these are good fees. On top of the almost 6 million we have sitting in the bank already, we're going to have potentially another 60,000 on the wage budget as well as almost another 10 million or so to spend. So there's going to be a sign in today. I can I can feel it in my bones. But yeah, before all that concludes, first game of the episode comes up against Barnsley at home. Okay, the team is as strong as it's going to get. Everyone's fit. Let's go. Okay, come on boys, let's go. Let's start off on fire. Oh God. Okay, so usually we score quick. Today we've let one in quick. Not the fire I was hoping for, boys. This is what annoys me. Look, Grenier, he's read the interception. He's intercepted, but they still get the ball back. And it's a nice finish, 1-0. Jack Grealish. To the snod. Get on your left, snoddy. Grealish. That's our ball. If that is, there has to be. It's 2000 and almost 18. There's got to be handball on games. He's fucking handballed it. And I've just realised, I think it was Gary Gardner that scored. He's on fucking loan from us. Koji gets into Grealish. Gets on his right foot. Jack Grealish. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, boys. It's nice from Kodja. Jack Grealish. Back to Kodja. Koji, boy. Get in the goal. 1-1. One, one. Come on. Come on. I felt in a weird position because the angle he was coming in at the goal. I didn't know where to go. Across the goal or near post. Gone near post. Beautiful finish. 1-1. One, one. Oh, my God. Goalkeeper's made a bit of a meal of it, but he saved it in the end. Nice play here. Into the middle. Jack Grealish. One step over. One touch. Wallop. Kodji. Oh, my God. Brick wall touch. Brick wall touch. Ah. Oh. Basically, we shot ourselves in the foot from the off. And uh, it's 1-1. One, one, tight half. Taylor, find him. Taylor, that's beautiful. Green, come inside, son. Green. To Grealish. Jack Grealish. Oh, it's on his left foot. Not letting him out. Koji, hold it, son. Koji uses his body. Keep it going. Who's this? Conor Huran. 1-0. Come on. Why am I saying 1-0? I mean 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Obviously, the first half was very forgettable to me because I forgot both of us scored. But Hurahan, lovely goal. 2-1. What a tackle from Hurahan. He's been excellent today. Green, if you run, you're going to be in, mate. Green, if you run, you are going to be in, son. Andre Green. That could be game over. I think it is game over. As soon as I see him going, I thought, run in the straight line you're in. He shows good pace and he shows good composure. Nice finish, 3-1. Jack Grealish, that's beautiful. Koji, Green, do you want another one, son? Go on, Andre Green. Go on, Andre Green. Back on his right. Andre, oh. Clermont Grenier just carries it. Clermont Grenier, what a ball. Jack Harrison. Oh, I wanted him to open up onto his left foot. Clermont Grenier just threading shit. Jack Harrison. Dre Green. Stand it up back post. Abel Hernandez. Oh, that's a powerful header. It's a good save. And that's the end of the game. Nice win. I mean, look, it doesn't really get much more one-sided than that. Almost 60% possession. 22 shots. Job done. And there we go. Henry Lansbury and Albert Adoma. Both transfers have gone through. We get almost another 10 million to our transfer budget. We're looking healthy. Okay, that gives us 15 million to spend. I'm not sure why our wage budget hasn't increased by like 60,000k. Both those players are on 30,000 a week. And um, that, yeah, that was another reason why I thought sell them, get more on the wage budget, can adjust it if we need. But either way, we're in a good position here to sign at least one player. So let's see what we can do. Right, we do have Diego Laxalt already coming in the summer. And he can play on both sides. So it'd be good if Adoma's just gone. So getting another winger in, pretty much imperative. It's between... Marcus Coco, who's only 21 years old, a 77 overall. Leon Bailey, 77 overall. 
might be able to get him in. But I've just seen Justin Clivert has a release clause of 13 million. And I think we're going to activate that right now. It does say that we might be able to get him for between 9.8 and 14.5. So if we negotiate and try to get a lower price, um, yeah, let's see if we can get a lower price. So if we just straight up offer like 9 million, it's around his current value. And let's see what they say. And just like that, look, they've accepted 9 million. So we've just saved ourselves 4 million. I, I could have gone all guns blazing. I could have jumped in and just paid the 13 million or whatever it was. But no, we've just saved ourselves a nice amount of money there. They're hoping for less money, but they want us signing on. And you know what? I can't even be bothered to mess around. Justin Clivert, I loved your dad. I had the Barcelona kit with Clivert on it. Now, I think I'm going to love you, Justin. Welcome to Aston Villa. And just like that, Justin Cliver is a part of the squad. He could play left wing, right wing, four star weak foot, four star skills. You consider he's only 18. 75 composure, great sprint speed, great agility, great balance. And all this is going to get better. The boy is 18 years old. I could throw him straight into some training to improve his finishing. But already, I think his finishing is better than Adoma's was. So, I'm more than happy with this signing. Good God, I hope you guys are. It leaves us, we still have. Six million to spend, which is a, a, a nice amount. Getting a centre back would be nice, but I think I'm gonna sign our defence is holding up in the championship. It's not great. We do let some goals in, but we score enough to counteract it. So for me, getting another midfielder, central midfielder with potential is um is a priority. Ronaldo Vieira, one of the greatest names in football ever, 19 years old, already 70 overall. I said I did want kind of a midfield kind of destroyer. Someone who has the energy, the stamina to get around. Ronaldo Vieira can be that guy. And when you look at the deal that we can potentially get for him, between 2.9 and 4.3 million, I'm more than happy to spend it. Let's go. Okay, he's worth 2.6. And we've just seen, you can undercut and sometimes they will sell. I don't know how long he's got left in his contract. Which I'm, an, I'm an idiot. I should have checked, but I didn't check. But I think 2 million might do it. Let's have a look. They want 2.8 million, along with the sell-on clause. You know what? I'm happy with that. And here we go. It looks like we've got him rotation, four-year contract, just under 10 grand a week. Appearances and sign-on bonus, not that big. I'm more than happy to spend it. Ronaldo Vieira, greatest name in football. Welcome to Aston Villa. And here we go. This is pretty much the reason why I bought someone like Vieira. Consider he's 19 years old. Look at all the greens there already. They're all going to get better. They're potentially going to be mid-80s, maybe even high 80s by the time he's fully maxed out with his potential. And I'm happy with that. He's got good speed, good stamina, good strength. Ball control and short passing is okay. I'm not expecting him to score goals. I don't really need him to score goals. I just need him to break shit up in the middle of the park. It leaves us with 2.8 million. And 14k on the wage budget. I would like to get a, a defender in for that. And we could probably get someone. But they have to have one year left on their contract. So I'm going to have a little scout around. See if I can conjure up a little deal. Okay, looking around. I've looked at Joe Gomez. 20 years old. 6 foot 2. Can play everywhere in defence. And when you look, you don't have to spend that much to get him. But we just don't have the funds at the moment. We need one more person to sell. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions for centre-backs, like cheap centre-backs who are young. I don't want cheap 33-year-olds or whatever. I want good, promising, high-potential players. If you know any centre-backs, let me know. Write something in the comments. I'll have a butch. And here we go. Second game of the episode comes up in the FA Cup. It's Ipswich away. Okay, here's the lineup. Two debuts. Justin Cliver on the left. Ronaldo Vieira in centre midfield alongside Clermont Grenier. Let's go. Okay, let's see how this goes. New boys, fresh blood. I'm excited. Grealish. Jonathan Codger? Oh my god, what a goal. Jonathan Codger. Alright, there's new blood. But the old boy can still do it. What a finish. Because the goalkeeper didn't move, I didn't think it was anywhere near the goal. He just opened out, whipped it. What a goal that is. Jack Grealish, that's beautiful. The lat, that's beautiful. Back onto your left, son. That's lovely. Go on, Harrison, boy. Jack Grealish. Wallop. Get in the goal. 2-0. 12 minutes. Two belters. Well, this is going swimmingly. Jack Harrison just plays it to his boy, Grealish. And wallop. Wallop. 2-0. Excellent from Clement Grenier. 
Wait for Harrison. Jack Harrison, we know what he can do. On that left foot, Jack Harrison, we know what he can do. We're flying. I'm telling you, he's the English Robin. Do not let him get on his left foot or there's going to be one result. Back of the net. Vieira, that's nice. Cliver finds Kodji boy. Kodji boy finds Grealish. Grealish finds Jack Harrison. Jack Harrison, back of the net. It's beautiful football. 4-0 in 27 minutes. Pretty much everyone touched the ball in that move. I'm loving it. Harrison again. Clement Grenier, the way he cuts you up, he's like a gardener. He cuts everything. He cuts the weeds. He does everything. Jack Grealish, 5-0. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm telling you, Clement Grenier, for a player that's meant to be a more creative, laid-back player, the amount of tackles a boy gets, and it's a beautiful finish from Grealish, 5-0. This is ridiculous. Grealish, Kodji, Grealish, step over, back onto his right. Harrison, onto his left, Jack Harrison. Oh my God, I thought it was a hat-trick. Justin Clivert, he's like, I want to get involved. I want to get involved in this party. I want to get involved. And he's fucking got himself involved. It's a dream debut for the boy. I was just looking for that opening. I thought he must be thinking, well, everyone's scoring. If I shoot, odds are it's going to go in. And it's a beautiful goal. Dream debut. That's possibly the best half of football we're ever going to play on this series. Ridiculous. Ronaldo, that's why we got you in there, son. To cut shit up. This is nice football. Cliver, you're in, son. Cliver. Oh, it's an instant impact. Just watch the run he makes. I've played it to Kodja. He's making that run. It's, it's from all day, he's going to score. I knew he was going to score. 7-0. It's nice from Kodja. Jack Harrison's going to be in. Harrison, he's on a hat trick. He squares it. Jack Grealish, 8-0. It's getting embarrassing now. It's actually, I'm expecting the computer to just pause and quit. Because this is embarrassing. It's just excellent. It's excellent stuff. It's a hat trick for Grealish. It's excellent. Look at Clivert go. Look at him go. Clivert. He's on a hat trick, Clivert. Wallop. All right, he's bobbled in. But it's a debut hat trick. Nine million well spent. I just knew it. I knew this signing would be good. I knew it. He has everything and he's just 18. It's pretty scary. Hat trick. Do not let them score. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what annoys me more. We've scored nine, but letting one in on the 90th minute. Possibly their, one of their first shots. I don't even want to watch it. It's just, it's just shit. Possibly the greatest performance I'm ever going to have on this series. Magnificent. When you consider we only had 14 shots and nine of them went in. Clinical. I mean, just look at that. 10 for Cliver, 10 for Grealish, 9.6 for Harrison. Even Vieira, 9.3. Grenier, 9.6. Just a perfect performance from every single player on the pitch. Okay, it is transfer deadline day. If anything happens, I'll let you know. But I, I'm not expecting much to happen. An offer for Codger from Southampton. Only 6.1 million. And let's be honest, there's no chance in hell that he's going anywhere. Reject. An offer has come in from Sporting Lisbon for Andre Green. And again, I'm just not interested in letting any of these players go. Reject. You know what? Because there were so many goals in the last game, I think I'm just going to play two games this episode. And the, the amount of time I've done scouting for players as well, I'm going to have to edit so much shit out. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode of the Aston Villa career mode. If you did enjoy, I mean, how could you not enjoy hat trick on the debut from Justin Clive at the new boy, the new star, star is born. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to keep up to date with the series. Like I said at the start of the episode, if this is the last uh, upload I do before New Year, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope, um, yeah, hope 2018 starts well for everyone. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. I'll see you in 2018. Peace.